So I created an introduction and an end page. I now want to create a third page which is an advanced image page and that advanced image page will tell the student what the pack is about. So I click on insert and to insert a page. I then go to media and the advanced image page is the top one in the media pop out. And you'll see the preview says a text and graphic page. So in many ways it's like a standard PowerPoint presentation page. So I'm going to add that to the list by clicking on it and it appears at the bottom of my list. You'll notice it's got a folded paper symbol with an image symbol in the middle of it. And it's useful to know that it's different to your title pages and it's also useful to learn what these little symbols mean as when you get a lot of pages it makes finding specific types of pages within your list much easier. So I'm going to put a title to my page and it's going to tell the student what this pack is about. So I'm going to put what this pack covers in my page title. And then I'm going to put some page text in which will appear on the left of my page. And rather than type it all in, I'm going to copy it from an already typed in document which is in Notepad. So I've copied it and now I paste it in here and there's all my text copied straight in. So at this point, let's see what it looks like. So we publish it, which remember saves our project, and then we play it which previews our project. So here we go, it's coming in, and now, unfortunately, when we get to the third page, it says what this pack covers, but we can't actually see the content. And that's a slight problem with this particular page template, in that advanced image pages only show the text when you've actually added the image. So we'll shut this page preview down by closing the window and we'll go away and we'll select an image. So the image section is one of the properties towards the bottom on the right and it's the import media one, the button with the three dots that we tend to use to go and find a file. So I'm going to click on import media and it should go away and start looking for our files. And in my case it has done, it's gone to the images section. I've got an image called gallery, which I can just about see is a, an image of dogs. So when I click on open, down at the bottom, it should bring in my image. Now sometimes I'll get this little error message and if I cancel it, it should bring it in anyway. It happens on my machines, it may well not happen on yours. So, we've got the image brought in, we've got the text in, we've got the title in. So what we're going to do now is to publish the image to save it and then we're going to play it. To preview it. So here we go, here's our preview. So this time let's go to the third page and now I put an image in, the full page appears together with the text. The only problem is over on the right here it goes right up to the end of the page and I don't particularly like that, I like a border on the right hand side of my image. The second problem is if I move my mouse over the image it says enter a tooltip. So let's sort both of those two issues out before we uh, finally post our page. So I'm going to shut down that particular preview. I'm going to 
click on where it says enter a tool tip remember that showed when I moved over the image I'm just going to put the title dog breeds in there so hopefully when I move over the image dog breeds should come out as a little tool tip and I also wanted a margin now that's an optional property it's not in the standard properties for the page so I click on the drop box like we did when we were doing the title pages and it's an image margin I want to add as before it doesn't automatically appear so I have to click on the add button and once I do that it appears in my page properties and it's a click box so if I click on the box it will appear and disappear so if I click on it so it's there publish it to save it play it again and now if we go to the final page I've now got a margin and when I move over it says dog breeds so this page is more or less as I want it the only problem is it's right at the end of the pack so let's put it in the middle of the pack so at the moment it's at the bottom of the list and that's where new pages always end up but we can move it up the list or down the list by using these two buttons at the bottom of the list of pages and if I click on move up it goes up a page I can move it accidentally one more what I can't do is move it out of the object altogether so once it's at the top of the list it will stop so I'm going to move it down again let's publish it let's play it still got our three pages but this time the second page is what this pack covers it's got an image with dog breeds on it it's got what this pack covers as its content and then when I move on one more it says you've now reached the end of this pack so I'll shut the window down and that's it we've created a third page which is an advanced image page and on that page we're telling the students what the pack is going to be about so if we want to create another advanced image page we don't have to start it from scratch we can just copy as we did previously with our title page we could just copy this particular page and then alter its content so having done a very short learning pack with introduction end page and what this pack covers there isn't much interactivity on it at the moment it's very similar to a powerpoint presentation so next time we'll add some pages that add interactivity to our Xerty pack <laughs>